Aloha. Ah, once again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Yes. So welcome. Uh, I am Reverend Patrick, for those of you who do not know me. And over here is the beautiful Reverend Arita. And over here is Michael and Carrie, but <laughs> Carrie is represented right now, and there's Michael over there. Uh, <laughs> give it up, give it up for Michael. He's in the house. <laughs> you know, we all have to have our entrances, don't we? Thank you for these beautiful flowers. Just by the way, how manifestation works. I thought, wow, we could use a little color up here. And in walks color, John Luke Gate. And, and uh, add it to that. So thank you. Thank you. Woo. Yes. So we have a few announcements, and I do mean a few today. Um, and who else to do them was planning, I was planning to do them, but she was on a jet plane to Albuquerque that made a U-turn. <laughs> Stopped in L.A., ended up back here, but it's all good, and it's all Michelle LeMay. <laughs> thank you. Good morning, everyone. Well, the first thing, right after service, we'd like to invite everyone to stay. We're going to be doing a meeting on how we can be of service, how we can volunteer, how we can put uh, what we are good at into the community here at CSL. So please stay for that. It will be followed. Um, of course, we're having a little bit of social time and you know our little chit chat. And of course, we have cake <laughs> because it is someone's birthday today mr. Ron so he brought his own cake to celebrate <laughs> which I think is awesome <laughs> so there is cake so following the cake we'll have our meeting so we do invite everyone to stay if perchance you cannot stay we do have little sheets to fill out for you to fill out they are in the bookstore and you can see Reverend Diane for these and this is for your name and your contact what your interest is to help what kind of skills you have and you know just all little details so the reverends have that so we'll be filling out this as well for those who stay but for those who cannot but still want to volunteer and help out uh, please fill this out because of course it takes a village to do everything that we're doing here so be a part of it as well and then also in the bookstore we have all our books as usual in science of mind there's father's day cards because that's coming up as well and lots in doc uh, reverend i would just call you a doctor <laughs> reverend diane <laughs> why not why not <laughs> reverend diane is over in the bookstore so you can see her for that and then tomorrow morning at 8 a.m Reverend Rita is going to be on the radio on HPR2, yay, on a show called The Conversation. That's on 89.9, and that's to actually talk about CSL and the cabaret. You may have been hearing us talking about the cabaret. We're very excited. It's the fundraiser for our three-year birthday. Yay. <clears throat> oh, okay. So between 8.30. Okay. So between 8.30 and 9.00 is when they're actually going to air it. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, and it'll be live, so we definitely want to tune in and support Rita. And then in regards to the cabaret, that's going to be July 7th and 8th. It is going to be, as I was mentioning, our fundraiser. You do need to purchase tickets ahead of time. Tickets will not be sold at the door. And that is because included with your ticket, you are also getting poo-poos and drinks. And the reverends need to know how much poo-poos and drinks to provide for the event. So that is definitely a, and it's also limited seating. So you want to make sure you get your tickets. And they are on sale in the bookstore with <laughs> Reverend Diane and on our website. So that's $45. And there are two different nights. So you can come either the 7th or the 8th and again it includes the show itself and then poo-poos and drinks and lots of fun and fellowship and then the following Sunday on the 10th July 10th we will be celebrating our service and our three-year birthday at Lydgate it's going to be a huge potluck party and you'll hear a little bit more for that but definitely something that you want to put on your calendars and then next Sunday, we have our women's consciousness meeting after the meeting and the men's mindful tree house. So you can put that on your calendar and plan to stay next week as well. And we do remind you to bring snacks, especially the men, uh, to share <laughs> while we are <laughs> gathering in our circle. <laughs> the men are like, what? <laughs> yes, that means you too. Everyone bring something to share. <laughs> and I believe, oh, and then the, um, 
uh, I was st starting to talk about Peru again last week in regards to people sending in deposits. We are accepting registrations and deposits until July 31st. And then towards the end of July, I'll also be doing another presentation for those who are, you may be new or you cannot attend the one I did last month. So that's going to be towards the end of July, but we're definitely still putting the word out there that we are going to Peru. All righty. Well, thank you, everybody, and enjoy your service. Pray. You never know how much I love you. You never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's too hard to bear. You, you give, give me fever. <laughs> when you kiss me, fever. When you hold me tight, fever. In the morning, fever all through the night. I think we gotta get them involved. Everybody's got the fever. That is something we all know. Fever isn't such a new thing. Now you've got to see the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Anything can happen here at CSL well, Kauai. It is about letting your God show. That's right. Letting your God show. Uh -huh. I liked what she said. She said, it's already hot enough in here. But I think you meant temperature, didn't you? Yes. Uh, so anyway, please, please come out and let's have fun as a community on that uh, 7th and 8th, July 7th and 8th. And now bringing it down just a little bit and going into a different kind of heat, a different kind of fever. Let us have our time of meditation, our time of just being with um, who we are. And Reverend Diane will take us to that place right now. Good morning, Kauai. How are you? Ah, let's all just take a deep breath together. Knowing that right here, right now, we are safe and comfortable and can relax into this time of spirit. I'm reading almost the oldest book Ernest Holmes wrote. He started writing in 1918. And Creative Mind and Success was his second book that really started bringing him out into the community. And I want to read something about our God selves from this book. The wise will listen, look, and learn, then follow what they know to be the only way that is in line with the divine will. The wise will listen, look, and learn, then follow what they know to be the only way that is in line with the divine will. Enjoy your time of quiet.
Listen, look and learn, then follow what they know to be the only way that is in line with the divine will. From this place of knowing the divine will for us, we bring it into prayer. Knowing that the one power, the one presence, the one love is moving in and through each one of us right here and right now. We accept the divine will for our lives and take action in our lives in a way that shows our God self. That moves the spirit within us into expression in the world in a dynamic and unique way. I give thanks for spirit moving in and through each one of us this day and every day allowing us to be the hand of God, the feet of God, the words of God. And so in this moment, I know the universe always says yes. There is only one law of mind, and it is in action in each one of our lives right here and right now. I welcome it. I allow it free reign in my life, and I release it into the world to express the divinity that we are each here to express. And so with great gratitude in my life, I simply allow that to come forth in the right and perfect way for each one of us and know that this service supports each one of us in doing that this day and each day we go forth from here. Together we say, and so it is. Amen. Um, I just want to thank you, Reverend Diane. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. And thank you to you over there for the beautiful meditation music. And I want to introduce um, Khalil. 
you know Khalil Gibran, the prophet. This is our Khalil, <laughs> who came to join us today, a friend of Michael and Carrie's, yes. <laughs> sharing his talent, sharing his God self with us. <laughs> so we're going to light this peace candle as we always do every Sunday, because peace, where does it begin? With us. And I would like to also do a special, special note today for peace. Um, for those of you who have not heard, this isn't about storytelling, but we lost a, a lot of lives in Orlando at a nightclub last night. And, um, and it, it doesn't matter if we haven't heard about it, but what it's about is that this is another opportunity. We have got to start loving. We have got to start allowing this love to come through us. And there are very young people, and all I know is that I was thinking while I over there in meditation that we're starting a teen program here on the island and uh, called Choices. We have got to remember that we have a choice before we do these things. So our love today, please allow that to go out to the families of these 50 some odd people um, and just allow our love to transmute whatever's going on for this family. So this is a perfect time to bring that in. Yeah. Agreed? Yes. So let's sing our chant of the month. And this is a perfect chant for today. To remember who we are today. and to remember who all those souls are, which is always the highest divine presence, yes. the highest divine beingness, love. I am remembering who I am. I am remembering surround and be infused in that experience and know that they are lifted up in that love, in that love that each and every person in that experience is and which each and every part of creation is. So I just let it be so as my heart is filled with gratitude to know that it is so as we say together. And so it is. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Thank Aloha. Thank you, everyone. I see a lot of beautiful new faces. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so you are in a center for spiritual living. I am Reverend Rita. This is Reverend Patrick. Reverend Diane, was our staff minister, was just up here. We, I think we introduced Michael and Carrie and Khalil, who's joined us today. And we're just here to celebrate life today, life in every form, life expressing itself in all ways. That's what we celebrate at Centers for Spiritual Living is that divine presence that is in, through, and as each one of us at all times, no matter what is occurring, that God is there. So today is about letting our God show. So I know that we're going to just let that God out today. If the God that we believe in is each one of us, each one, all of creation is God. That inner presence, that feeling, that beingness that we are. So 
Aloha and welcome. And who, speaking of which, uh, who is here for the very first time? Can you please raise your hand? There we go. There we go. <laughs> S- at least a couple over. There we go. Hello. <laughs> it's okay. So um, w- could you raise your hand again over here? I li- there we go. There we go. Okay. You might be thinking there's a door prize or something, right? <laughs> but actually what's really happening is we're going to let you know something about yourself. Sh- sh- who gave her dialogue? <laughs> it's all, uh, uh, who, who gave you the, the Okay, so shall we tell them who they are? And you, you are magnificent. magnificent. But then again, you already knew that, didn't you? Mm. I bet you wonder how we knew that. We know that because we know that about ourselves, where it all begins, and that is right here and right now. Say it. I, I am magnificent. magnificent. Yes, you are. Can you look to your left to d- look to your right? I'm sure you'll have no problem over here. <laughs> I mean, let them know that they... Um, you are magnificent. Magnificent, yes. You are magnificent. <laughs> oh, my God. You are magnificent. Yeah, we have to turn to the camera. All right, now, can we all just turn to the camera? We do have people watching we us all over the world. We have people watching live so stream. let them know and that we what know they, they are. are cause they call you are magnificent. magnificent. Aloha. Aloha. All right, so shall we get this party started? Yes. I, I think, think it already, already did. Started. Yeah, yeah. All righty. Aloha. <laughs> All right, shall we start? <laughs> Everyone want to stand up, feel good, move around a little bit if you feel like it. Aloha. Let's wake up. Three Aloha. little birds stop. Don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is gonna be alright, be alright, be alright. I rise up this morning, I smile with the rising sun. Three little birds pitch by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melody sure and true. This is my message to you. All right, everybody. Sing and don't worry. Come on. Don't worry. About, About a thing. Come on, Harry. Wow, 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 wow. Every little thing is going to be all right. It's going to be all right. You got to say it. Sing and don't worry. Don't worry. About a thing. Ba, 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 ba. Every little thing is going to be all right. Be all right, be all right. Well, we know absolutely that everything is all right because it is all right right in this moment. It is divine love expressing through our God self. There are people dancing because they cannot help but feel that God self moving through and as. And we are moving through and as love because we know that love transmutes everything. And this service, all the love goes out of this room up and out and transmuting everything that needs to be transmuted as together with such gratitude for who we are we say and so it is rise up this morning let's raise the roof with the rising sun. come on patrick three little birds you got this rita it's mama A melody sure and true. Sing it. Come on, Jill. This is my message to you. Sing it. Don't worry. Uh-oh. About a thing. About a thing. Got some dancing going on. All right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Sing it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Come on, sing it. Come on, Gigi. Gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright, Everett. Gonna be alright. Gonna 
be all right, gonna be all right, gonna be all right, gonna be all right. All we need are lighters right now. Let's go. Oh, I just need a little drink before I start. <laughs> a little drink before. Uh, how's everybody feeling? Yeah. Roller coaster of emotions today. That's what we like. That's what we like. Welcome. Oh, so I always love it when we when we have nothing in between the opening song and when I start talking because I'm always like, oh my god, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> so um, I love this message we have today. Let your God show. And I have to say that I have to give credit to the um, youth at um, the teen group at uh, GTC Global Truth Center where I got the I we got the idea. And they put out a video called What It Meant to Them to Let Their God Show. And it was awesome. And it was like everything different. You know how teens are. They just let their God show in all their different ways, whether their hair is, well, not all, all teens. <laughs> She's a teen with her purple hair. <laughs> piercings, whatever it is, all their awesomeness and uniqueness and just wanting to just express themselves. And so this little video was, and if you can catch it, it's on their website, about letting their God show. So it got me thinking about what that meant. And um, actually, I will fess up that on um, Thursday night, I went and saw definitely people who were letting their God show. I went to, <laughs> I went to for the first time in my life to, um, a show called, um, what was it called? No, I can't remember. Found down, on, down, to down Under with my friends. And um, I was like, oh, does the minister do this kind of thing? And I didn't feel like I could really stand. Whoa. <laughs> I will blame it all on Carrie Fox because it was her idea. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> there's all different kinds of ways of letting your God show. And I think that we all have our own unique way of letting our God show. And as long as we are following our passion and our love and letting it out in a, in a way that is, you know, is, is, is wholesome. And when I say wholesome, I don't mean pure. I mean, <laughs> is, is constructive. I will use the word constructive. Because, you know, we're always letting our God show. No matter what, God is God is expressing through us. We're all divine expressions of the one. And sometimes we choose not to let it all out. Usually we're blocking it, so we don't. But then when we let it all out in these beautiful, constructive ways that, you know, Ernest Holmes said, and I really love this, he said, we can have anything we want, be anything we want, do anything we want, as long as it harms no person, other person's life. And then we, then, yeah, then we put the law into action for the highest good of all. And Diane mer mentioned the idea of divine will in her, um, in her meditation. And when we talk about divine will here, divine will is always good. And when our will is aligned with the spirit, with the power, with the light, with the energy, with the source, then it has to be good. It has to be good. So that's the goal, is to just sink into that and really feel it. God is not, like, what is God? God is not like I said, a man in the cloud at the beginning, God is not a woman in the cloud. God is a divine feeling, a presence that we all are and all have. This morning I was reading about um, Melinda Kramer. The, um, she was a, one of the founders of Divine Science, and she was suffering from a, um, a chronic ailment for a long, many years of her life and couldn't find a healing for it. And she was very, uh, you know, so she sat in meditation and she said, if, is there anything is there some power, is there something within me that can heal me? And she sat there and sat there with that, and she was overcome by the spirit, overcome by the, uh, the omnipresence, overcome by the feeling of love that, that is right there where we are at all times, and she felt it, and within a certain amount of peri period, she, she had a healing. Um, but so healing isn't about like getting your body better or getting it fixed or something. It's that those things are all good, like, um, but, <laughs> and you should go to doctors and all that. But healing, you're the one doing the healing. You're the one revealing the truth. And as soon as that M Melinda re revealed the truth within herself, then the healing took place. So I'm just really feeling that this week. Uh, it's interesting because um, I had a experience over the last month, there's been a lot of stuff, right? We've had a lot of deaths and, and things happen and stuff, and I was feeling heavy about it. And so I was talking to my mentor, who is um, Reverend um, Nancy Berggren, who mentored me through to my or ordination. 
and she had this great metaphor, and it was about the tip of the iceberg. She said, sometimes you're only looking at the tip of the iceberg, what's showing, but when you get in that feeling where you can't, like, feel like you can't do it anymore, you can't, you're looking at it, and it just seems so, this little thing seems so big, and it doesn't seem like a little thing. It's just, it's just big to you, right? She said, then she said, you go beneath where the iceberg is, where all the mass of the iceberg is, and that's spirit down there. And if you can sink into that feeling of really what's supporting you, a change takes place. And I really felt that this week. And every time I feel down about things like what happened today, I just go to that place. And I know the more that I go to that place, the more the world changes. And the interesting part about the iceberg um, metaphor is if you think about it, it's like this, right? I don't have the, <laughs> I have to do this with my mic. Anyway, it's like a, it's like a tri triangle, right? Going down into the ocean. Well, our symbol, and this is what she told me, and it was so great. She said, our symbol is the same thing, but it's upside down, the, the large parts at the top. And it, it represents the tri triangles this way, right? And it represents everything that is up here moving into form, which is down here where the little point is, which is the world of conditions and effects. So it moves through law, which is the thing that says yes to us. It takes the impress of our thoughts. It's in our soul. It's our beingness. It's our atmosphere, right? And it moves in to, and there, there's the form. But sometimes we turn it upside down, and we're at the little thing at the bottom, the effect, and we're thinking that that's all there is when it, what all there is is the massiveness of spirit. So I just, I'm so grateful for her for giving me that. So let's give a hand of applause for Nancy Berggren, if she's listening. <laughs> she, so if you're thinking, if you have a situation in your experience and you just remember about the tip of the iceberg and remember to just sink in to that awesome, awesome, awesome power that you really are, no matter what's going on down within you, that's the, beingness of who you are. It doesn't matter. Th I, I read this quote by Ernest Holmes. Um, how do you do this, right? Well, our first steps are treatment, first of all. Our steps one and two are the most important. We talked about spiritual mind treatment a little bit last week, but one sp step one is, what is it, my practitioner students? <laughs> Everybody want to say God is all there is. Thank you. It's the recognition that God is all there is in and through everything. And then the second step is what? I, I I am one with a uh, identification. Good. I'm glad to hear that she's remembered after being now a <laughs> class <laughs> for three, three, three months, however long it's been. Um, so, okay, so apps, God is all there is, and I am it, it. I am one with that. If we, that's all we really need to remember. And so, any feeling something that's that feels off of that, just go back to that. God is all there is. Look around you. Look at the trees, and just say, Oh my God, I am. I'm as big and as wonderful as that ocean. That's what I am. You're not the allness of God, but uh, the allness of what you are is God. There's not a part of you that isn't. So Ernest Holmes also has this great thing he uses in treatment. It's, and I always use it if something is really weir wacky, it's let everything that needs to be eliminated, eliminated. And let everything that needs to be assimilated, assimilated. Let everything that needs to be eliminated, eliminated. Let everything that needs to be assimilated, assimilated. In other words, if something's obstructing your feeling and your power and your love and anything in your life, let it be eliminated. You don't even have to know what it is. You don't have to know what it is. You just let, say, I just surrender it. I surrender it. I let it go. Um, Florence Shin used to say, surrender it to the Christ within. Whatever you want to call it, it's that part of yourself that's at oneness with God. Let it go, and then let, let, let yourself just assimilate what you truly are. So the reason that we have these things is because we are a choice all the time. We're not robots. We don't go around like going, you know, God is all there is, God is all there is. We have to come to the re realization ourselves, and we're always a choice to reject it or accept it. And I say, let's accept it. <laughs> and just go with it and surrender to it. Surrender to the divine will and know that it's always good. Know that our lives are always, always, always unfolding perfectly no matter what and just get to that place where we don't have all these little squibbly little um, you know, um, tips of the iceberg in our life and, and, <laughs> and really go down and sink down into that spirit, that body, that immense, beautiful thing that we are. So I love you and just let's just keep loving. Keep loving, keep loving. That's my message for today. 
Oh, ha, and thank you. Mm. So I want to turn the time over to some more love over here, Carrie and Michael Fox. Kalani Kuihom, an angel's welcome.
You know, I just never get tired of you. Never get tired of you two. Every week you think you might, and it just keeps going on and on. You guys are beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, back to me. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, no. So I just want you to take a good look at me. <laughs> and I want you to realize that this is what God looks like right now. This is what's showing up as God. And I'm looking out at what show is showing up as God today. God looking at God. But before we know any of that, I think that we have to define God for ourselves. It's easy to say, I mean, if anyone knows me from the very beginning, I started out in this saying, I am God, which in, in our history, we all know what happens when you say things like that. Yeah, exactly. Which is actually in my talk here, no. Um, but uh, what I wanted to say is that I, what I realized last night, can you believe it, after all this time, I realized that what is God to Patrick? And what I realized is that God is a state of mind. And when I really let that settle, I realized that there was some dualism that even I have carried, putting something outside of myself. And I went, I am... Oh my God, God is a state of mind. And I think it was Melissa, I hate to call her out because she's a, but um, I remember the first time that I met her at uh, Starbucks, we were talking and we were talking about comparing, I think it, it was Melissa, we were talking about, um, if not, she's gonna get some beautiful credit here. Um, <laughs> so w what, I know, what I know is that she said this and I've always kept in mind, God is current. God is current. Hello, Jack. God is very, very current. And when I felt that, I said, wow. So I have a couple of, doing a little talk story here today. I have two for you. I promise you they'll be somewhat entertaining if I can help myself. Um, if you were here before, if you were here before, you heard the dentist story, right? A couple of months ago, the horrific crucifixion that I went through in the dentist chair. And... Um, and it has been a story, you know, I mean, I went through lifetimes, whether or not I believe him or not, but in that chair, I went through two hours of all this stuff, right? So I had some stories that I was telling about it, and I thought, I keep saying, there's not a place where God is not. There is not a place where spirit runs through me as me. So why, why would I leave it out to go into the dentist? <laughs> so part two. I went to the dentist on Thursday to do the other half of the mouth. And I had a lot going in, you can imagine. I had a lot of memories that were playing back. Here comes the crucifixion. Here, it was all coming back to me. And I said, you know what? I don't belong to that past any longer. So that morning in my morning blog, Find me on Facebook. If you'd like to uh, friend me, you'll see it. Um, this is what I wrote. What do I want from today's experience? I want to feel as relaxed as I can be. I want to live in the present moment where there is only good. I am not bringing in my past to recreate my current experience. I want the procedure to be as pain-free as it can possibly be. Right where pain seems to operate, the presence of God is, will instantly obliterate this pain. That's from Dr. Ernest Holmes, that quote. The only thing I have to do is believe, and I intend to get as close as possible to that state of mind in that chair. And I'm going to tell you, I had to be willing to give up my story. I have a story, 
and I had to give it up. And because I gave it up, I walked, and I'm telling you, I had stories. I mean, I thought she was like from a past life trying to hurt me. I mean, I was like creating even more. It's like, and there she is again, and she never liked me then. She doesn't like me now, and she doesn't respect me, and shame, shame spiral, shame spiral. And all of this was happening, right? And it just kept getting bigger and bigger because I was allowing my story to get bigger and bigger. And guess what happened? I got in that chair and I kept saying this like a mantra. I am God. I am God. If you've ever believed you are God, this is the time. So she walks in and she says, oh, good. We can do the procedure today. Your blood pressure is fine. Everything's going good. And she was like this different person. I was going, I don't care about her. Just stay in your own state of mind. On a scale from last time, one to a hundred, hundred being the pain that I experienced, one, a little prick of, of something that occurred. And then when I felt pain, I said, uh-uh, not a place where God is not, man. It's either is or it isn't. It can't be both. And if it is, you're going to suffer. Who am I? Ah, oh, right where I am, God is. Right where I am, God is. And I, then the, some of the stuff kept coming back in, right? Oh, there's the pain. Are you ready? I'm coming back. And I'm, no, you're not, man, because I know who I am. And I sat in a chair and remembered it. It became the biggest metaphor in my life. I do not have to suffer. I do not have to pay for any sins of my father. If, if there were sins, that's my father's. Not mine. God is everywhere present, even in the dentist chair. We can't just, you never notice that? A problem arises and say, I'll get back to you in a minute, God. I got some problems to solve. It's like, <laughs> n oh, yeah, yeah. Spirit is with me, in me, as me. Oh, no, here we go. You know, so I thought to myself, being God is to the degree that you believe you are God. And that isn't about God, because this is what was fabulous about being current with God. Is that this. I wanted her to change. I wanted the dentist to be different. I wanted, the, as a matter of fact, I wanted the whole dentistry profession <laughs> to be different. <laughs> They're archaic. They have no nothing about my pain. And I mean, it was so dramatic that, boy, I could have written a book on it. We want them to change. I want everybody to change. I want everybody to do everything so that I don't have to take responsibility for myself to the degree that I believe. And I believe because I said I do not want to suffer anymore. So my second little story is not about me, but it's about the degree that we talked about last week. And it's about a woman, an immigrant, from many, many, many years ago. I told this story a long time ago, but it's, oh, so bare is repeating. This beautiful woman was coming to, the, uh, to America. She'd saved up all of her money in order to um, get here. And she was God-filled. She got the money, got the ticket, and that she was glowing because she had accomplished that God to her was in that moment of coming to America. So that was all the money she had and a little bit after she got off. So what she did was she uh, brought on some bread and some water so that she was able to sustain the, the trip, the boat trip. Oh, she was happy, though. She was eating bread, and it didn't matter to her because what? She was accomplishing her dream. She was showing up as God. So when she got to America, the only thing that she had discovered through that whole trip is that her ticket um, allowed her full fare in the dining room <laughs> the entire time. She could have eaten and behaved like a queen. But her degree of understanding, her degree of knowing, was just to get the trip. And I wonder how many times as I'm showing my God self do I block myself off from eating and dining in the finest car because I believe that I'm just worth the bread and water? And here's the deal. The great part of the story is that she was still happy. So don't let it fool you. But it isn't happy when you're sitting there knowing that there is a divine urge, a divine calling that is asking for more. 
and that we can have that. I was telling somebody the other day, I am not going to apologize anymore for being a king. We are kings and we are queens of this, and we can be the best examples from one another to pull ourselves up and out. Sainthood, it's, it's charming. And it has actually helped a lot of people. I grew up Catholic. I devoted to many, many state, uh, saints and states. <laughs> states of mind, of course. Ooh, I just like the way life just slides through. So my message today is probably very clear. Yeah, I'm God, you're God, we're all God. Now it's to, to the degree that we're going to express God is really the question for today. I have it all. I do not have to apologize. If I can take a scene like that dentist chair and change it for me, my experience of it, to be where I'm standing in front of you today, not saying I can't wait to get back, but I am saying that I have the ability to change one thing and one thing only, and that is Patrick. So once again, thank you. Once again, I am proud. I am proud to be king of my own kingdom. I am proud to be spirit expressing. And I am so proud to stand before you and to look at you and to be able to say without any apologies, I am God. Namaste. Go ahead. Okay. So this is our time of what? Affirmative giving. And so no matter what's happening, take whatever you're going to put in the basket or take whatever consciousness you're experiencing right now and know. Know that it comes right from your heart, that heart of good, that heart of God. So we have an affirmation that we, um, we say every week. It's in your program. Divine love consecrates Consecrate my gift. gift. It goes forth to heal, prosper, and bless. It is evidence of my, my conviction, conviction that God is the source, source and substance of, of my supply. supply. I, I give freely, freely today, knowing it returns to, to me, me abundantly. abundantly. Ah, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Thank you for my health, Spirit. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my health, Spirit. Thank you for my health. My wonderful, my wonderful, my wonderful health. everything that God is working through each and every one of us, knowing that as we go forth from here, 
that we are abundant. We are always abundant. That is what we are, and we're just discovering it, and it's rising up within each of us, and our lives are blessed. I know that. I claim that. And I just say thank you, thank you, thank you for these wonderful gifts, and knowing that they go forth to heal, to prosper, to bless everyone, as we say together, and so it is. Yeah. Thank you for this day, absolutely. If anything has come up for you that you need a little extra attention, we'd be glad to stand in that knowing. We have a, a yes box that we call it, but it's really a treatment box. And what you do is just go over there, and give it a little bit of what's going on that you need a little extra attention for, and we will stand in knowing. All of us will stand in knowing for that. And um, once that box is closed, the answer is what? Yes, yes it is done. So don't forget to stay after for our little volunteer uh, happening. And also, please pass the word about our new program for teens. Choices are coming up. We're really uh, we're going to do Flying Solo as our first project with, with the, the teens. teens. And so that should be a very uh, powerful thing. So get out into the community and let them know that CSL Kauai is opening their doors to our young people, not just teens, all ages. Okay? Right. Perfect. So let us... Go out with a wonderful, wonderful Hi, God. Everybody. Good. Let's Happy rise up again. Birthday, birthday. Oh, there's a birthday in the house. Oh, there's a birthday. Hello. And it's not a Costco cake. Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ron. Happy birthday to Now that you're standing. <laughs> now that you're standing. All right, all right. Uh-oh. Are we going to the mountain? I think We're so. Let's go to the mountain, the everybody. It's right oh, over whoa. there. Let it go, go on, on the mountain. mountain. Let it sing on the mountain. Let it ring on the mountain. Now is the time to let yourself shine. Let it go on the mountain. Let it sing on the mountain. Let it ring on the mountain. Now is the time to let yourself shine on your heart. I'll make a brand new start. See the world with clear eyes. No turning back. Surprise, surprise. Remove the disguise. It's my life. It's my life. It's my life. Here we go. Let it go on the mountain. Let it sing on the mountain. Let it ring on the mountain. Now is the time to let yourself shine. Let it go on the mountain. Let it sing on the mountain. Let it ring on the mountain. Now is the time to let yourself shine. Okay, so we're shining. This has been a wonderful time together. And now it's time for a few thank yous. And the thank you, first thank you goes to Michelle LeBay for the announcement. And our greeters at the door who were Deborah and Jackie. Thank you, Deborah and Jackie, for greeting us today with your love and hospitality. And to Rob and Ray back there for their live streaming and bringing our message to the global community. Thank you so much. Aloha and thank you. And thank you to John for just showing up with those pretty flowers. I think he's gone now. I don't know where he is, but he'll feel our thank you as I throw it out into the universe. And Reverend Diane, thank you for taking care of the bookstore for us and educating us all on this beautiful teaching. And thank you to Ron Stover for bringing the cake today and Suzanne and for helping us with hospitality. And thank you to Janice, wherever she is, holding the space for our children and being a light to the children of our community. And thank you, thank you, thank you to our amazing music program that just grew today. It just grew. We got five going on over there. Kelly. Kelly. Carrie. To Louise. To Carrie and Michael Fox. And so. And Patrick and Rita, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Give them the love. I say thank you. And I know we all go forth from here to heal, prosper, and bless our lives and everyone's lives that we touch from so let the love rise, and I just say, and so it, it is. is. Let it go, go on the mountain. Let it sing on the mountain. Let it ring on the mountain. Now is the time to let yourself shine. Let it go on the mountain. Come on, brother. Let it sing on the mountain. Let it ring on the mountain. Now is the time to let yourself shine. Honor your heart, make a brand new start to the world with clearer eyes. No turning back, surprise, surprise, remove the disguise. You guys can clap. It's my life, it's my 